Check out this exclusive interview at the G-List Society with your host, Wady G, right now. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Wady G with the G-List Society blog. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the G-Chat where I do phone interviews with our favorite LGBT personalities. And usually I only talk to one person at a time during these G-Chats, but I have two special guests on this call and you know them probably on two different, two very big reasons. One, Sunday night at the Grammys, these these two gentlemen were one of the 30-plus couples that were shown on my television being married during the Macklemore performance. And then also, too, for us, those of us who have been long fans of the DL Chronicles, I am talking with the creators themselves, DeAndre and Quincy Gosfield. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Great. Hey. How are you? How are you doing? I'm well. Just want to say thank you, and congratulations on the big day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think this is the first time we've been called publicly, verbally, the Gosfields. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, that's, you know, and that's why, you know, you were talking about, you know, the, your friend who was in doubt about, you know, just the whole legality of um, legal marriage for um, same-sex couples. I want to get your opinion on this because I've asked this question to, let's just say, people who I presume are in relationships or who I assumed weren't in relationships at the time. You've been in a, you've been in a relationship for over 18 years. Well, actually, you're married, but you know you've been a couple for 18 years and been through the domestic um, domestic um, was it partnership, which had to yeah, go through yeah. courts and be done for same sex marriages or for same sex couples. Now you've gone through the legalities of being a same-sex married couple Um, with, I can't even count how many, probably 18 states have approved same-sex marriages by now. Um, What I've heard within the black LGBT community is that um, the fight for marriage equality is a white, gay, and lesbian issues, not a black LGBT issue, regardless that it is for same-sex couples, regardless of race. Um, I'm not sure how much you, I mean, I've seen you guys supported No Hate Campaign, but um, what do you say to your fellow people in the African-American LGBT community who has that idea that they don't need to participate or care about same-sex um, marriages or same-sex marriage rights because they feel like it's for the white uh, gays and lesbians. Yeah, I think we shouldn't compartmentalize ourselves. The first thing I want to say, though, is that there's some valid argument in that um, in that sentiment because, you know, obviously uh, people of color in this movement are in the infant stages as compared to their white counterparts as, as to where we are in the movement. I mean, there's a lot of other things that still need to be addressed. Um, you know, HIV and AIDS funding not being – accurately appropriated to the right people that it should go to, you know, the people that are most adversely affected are, are in those are African Americans tend not to get the funding that they should, they get a lot of funding cut in many states. I get that from our vantage point, there are more important issues at hand first, you know, but I would say that's not to negate that we shouldn't, we shouldn't um, negate this issue that benefits all of us and um, what I think what we're failing to understand is that um, that the policy that gets pushed by this movement um, has repercussions in every facet of society um, uh, first you know just mere visibility and uh, I don't like to use the word tolerance but acceptance of, of relationships like these showing that you know, we are every bit as capable of having meaningful relationships as anyone else. Um, we are in committed relationships, loving each other and living just like anyone else as a, as a regular family unit, tax-paying American citizens. And when you do things like that, it kind of changes policy. When you get people to identify with you, um, they're more apt to see you as a human being. And you, Lots can get done when that vantage point and that understanding is takes a foothold. 
Um, and I think they undermine, I think, because we're so, we're so caught up in our, in our issues that we don't understand that this event, uh, uh, this marriage equality thing, you know, passing can have a snowball, not a snowball effect, but a trickle down effect onto the policies that we do care about because suddenly we're regarded as human beings and, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and the right to, equality and medicine and funding from the government as any other tax-paying citizen in the United States. Um, but I do agree that there are still other pressing issues that um, probably would take precedent over something like uh, gay marriage. But I think we have to understand the bigger picture and the, and the, and the, the bigger effect of a movement like this that it can have on the community as a whole, black or white. Um, whatever you are. Uh, I think the, the issue is a human issue, and I think what we've been struggling, no matter what we've been fighting for, the, at the end of the day, the message is I'm human. I'm just as worthy. I'm just as entitled to, you know, my freedoms and right to liberty as you are. You know, I'm not this subhuman category that you like to put me in. And I think marriage equality and that kind of thing is one of those things that has a, you know, uh, an effect on people's uh, opinion. Absolutely. And I, I have to agree just because, like, the conversation I have with some of my friends who feel that way or some people that I've had these conversations with is that, I mean, one, it is for us because we are same sex and we should, like you said, we should not compartmentalize what, it, who is it for? Because if we don't put our faces out there along with who we feel like is for the white gays and lesbians, then we're kind of letting society as a whole know that we don't care about equality for us, whether we feel like AIDS and HIV is more important or, um, you know, just other types of um, issues that we have as um, black gays of color. If we don't just support what's already out there on the table, I feel that we're kind of letting the larger society know that we don't care about our own issues and concerns, you know, no matter how great or small they may be to us. So I really appreciate your answer on that.